Hi everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am wanting to show you how to do a camouflage tumbler. The materials that I use for this tumbler, it's going to obviously be a 20 ounce tumbler. You can use any size. I did purchase my tumbler from the Stainless Steel Depot. Uh, dot com and I will have their link in my description below. I did spray paint this tumbler a uh, light brown or a tan color. Color spray paint I use is Nutmeg and it is a satin finish by Rust-Oleum. If you would like to know how to prep your tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and leave my YouTube video in the description below so you can click on the link from there. You're going to need some plastic wrap or saran wrap. I did purchase mine from Walmart and you're gonna need some alcohol ink. The colors will be listed in my description below. The colors I'll be using today are going to be Espresso by Tim Holtz, and the rest are going to be Pinata brand. I'm using black, forest green, and orange. You're also gonna need some type of sealer. The sealer that I always use is by Krylon. It is crystal clear acrylic coating. For your first step, you're going to unroll your plastic wrap and cut a piece off. You're going to cut three to four pieces. I am cutting them about a foot long. Now you're gonna place all of your other cut plastic wraps to the side and you're just gonna use one. And make sure you're um, making sure your plastic wrap is as flat as you can uh, make it. So make sure it's not curled up on the ends or anything like that. So you're just gonna go along the edges and just flatten it out as best as, as, best as you can. I'm gonna now put my gloves on because I am using alcohol ink. I do recommend you always wearing gloves while handling alcohol ink or epoxy. Now that you have your plastic wrap flat on your desk, this is when you're gonna take your ink and you're gonna pour it or squeeze it onto the plastic wrap. So I started with my green, but you don't have to start with any color. I just start whichever one I grab first. And now I'm pouring my brown. Next, my black. I don't pour as much black because the green and the brown, uh, when mixed, they look black. So I go easy on the black for now. And then my orange. And like I say in all of my videos when doing tumblers, there's no rhyme or reason on the way that I'm squeezing the, app, the inks onto the plastic wrap. You now have your inks on your plastic wrap. Now you're gonna take one end of your wrap and you're gonna fold it in half. Now that it's folded in half, you're gonna take your hand and you're just gonna hit your plastic wrap. So you're not gonna rub it, you're just gonna blot it. You're gonna blot your plastic wrap and it's gonna look like a big brown mess. So that's how you want it to look. If you see crevices in there, that's what you wanna see. So you don't want the, the plastic wrap to be flat. You want it to be, um, you want it to have some texture to it and um, the colors mush together. You're gonna now unfold your plastic wrap. So this is the tricky part. This is when I like to take off my gloves, but I know I have to keep them on. And if you don't have a work area like me where I can get messy, um, you can always put something underneath you like one of those um, aluminum pans that you get from the Dollar Tree and you can work inside of one of the aluminum pans so the mess will just stay there. Now that you have it unwrapped, you're gonna take your tumbler and you're gonna place it on this on the plastic wrap. Now you're gonna wrap your tumbler. So I grab the end of my plastic wrap and I just wrap my tumbler. I'm not smoothing it out, I'm just wrapping it up. I'm taking the other side and I'm doing the same thing. Wherever it falls is where it falls. So you're gonna see stuff like this. I'm gonna take my hand again and I'm just gonna pat it around the tumbler the bottom's gonna look like this, and you're just gonna pop, pat the bottom down. 
Make sure you're getting the rim. So pat around the rim. And it's okay if you missed a section, like you see this section right here. I'm trying to get it on the camera. There's a, a brown section right here. It's fine. Don't open it back up and wrap it again. Just ignore that part and then we'll get to that in a bit. So I'm just patting around the tumbler. I'm not smooshing it on or rubbing it in. I want the texture to stay on this tumbler. I'm just firmly pressing around it. And then once you are satisfied or um, once you're done patting it on the tumbler, you're just gonna take the tumbler, you're gonna grab the piece of plastic wrap and then unwrap the tumbler. This is why we wear gloves, because it's all over my gloves. All right, so it should look something like this, ugly and muddy. So now you're gonna put your hand in the tumbler or you can use your tumbler arm. You're gonna take your ceram wrap and you're just gonna blot it. Oops, and make a mess. <laughs> so you're just gonna blot around your tumbler. And that spot that was um, peeking through, you just, you can focus on that area. And then the inks should get all around there. And remember, when working with alcohol inks, if you are very new to working with inks, they dry very, very fast. So this saran wrap or this plastic wrap paper is drying very fast. If you hear it getting more sticky, that's it drying more and more. And here's what it looks like so far. So Whenever I saw somebody else do this, I saw them use the same piece of plastic wrap. I have a heavy hand, like you all know, with a lot of stuff, so I just cut multiple pieces and I redo the process. So now I'm gonna take another piece of plastic wrap, I'm gonna flatten it out, and then I'm gonna add more colors to it. So if you see my tumbler now, it's, um, it's very green and black, so I want to add more uh, brown and orange to this tumbler. So I'm going to add more colors to the saran or to the plastic wrap. So I'm going to add orange in here. And then I'm going to add brown. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of green just to make the color smush together and and uh, and do its thing and mixed. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same steps. I'm gonna fold it, fold it in half. And then once I have it folded, I'm just gonna take my gloves. Patty cake, patty cake. Unfold it. Then take my tumbler and wrap it on the tumbler. And then pat around the tumbler. The more you do this, the more texture it's gonna show. Um, you can leave it at the first step if you like. It all depends on what you like and what kind of what kind of look you're going for. There's no right or wrong reasons with these tumblers. It's all what you like to do and your taste. So now I have it wrapped and now I'm gonna unwrap it. And I think if you use name brand plastic wrap, it might not be this um, fragile, I should say. I don't know if that's what you can call it. So maybe that's the reason why I, why I have to use multiple plastic wraps because I do use off-brand. And then now I'm gonna take this spot because I don't like that for this tumbler and I'm just gonna blot it away and then get paper stuck on the cup. So you can do this four times, you can do this one time, you can do this three times. It all depends on until you're happy with your tumbler, that's how many times you're gonna do it. I blot until I feel the alcohol inks are all dried on my plastic wrap. 
and then I throw away this piece of plastic wrap. Here is the second layer of it and you can start seeing the pattern starting to show more. So I'm gonna do this process again for the third time. Now, if you like this tumbler the way it is, but there's a spot on here that you just don't like, let's say right here, I just don't like this spot right here. You can just take your saran wrap and just blot it. And it's gonna be a little messy, but you're gonna, I'm trying to get this on the camera. So you just, just blot it, just like that. You can see that spot kind of goes away. So you can take a smaller piece of ceram wrap and do that. So you don't have to wrap it every single time. And here's the final finish. And feel free to, to play around with your colors, add darker brown, add a lighter brown. Um, I know the video that I saw, she did a white base. I wanna do a brown base just in case you would see through it so you get to see the brown and not the white. For your next step, you're gonna let your tumbler dry for three hours. I place my tumbler on my turner arm and then I just let it air dry with my turner off. Once your tumbler is dry with the Kryolan Crystal Clear, then you'll go ahead and apply your epoxy. I did mix my epoxy off camera. If you do wanna know how to mix epoxy properly, I do have a video on my YouTube channel. I will be linking that in the description below. I do apologize, my turner was acting up, so I had to quickly transfer my tumbler to another turner and finish epoxy in it. Once you're finished in epoxying your tumbler, you're then gonna let your tumbler spin for about four to six hours, then turn off your turner and then let it air dry for another six hours. Since I had some technical difficulties with my other turner, I had to quickly put this on this turner. So I did end up getting a lot of glitter on it, but thankfully it is a Christmas present for a friend, so it will be fine. Once this is dried, you can go ahead and leave it as is, or if you would like to add a decal, let it dry for at least 24 hours. Then go ahead and apply your decal. Then you can go ahead and re-epoxy it.